Today we're going to talk about electrical measurements. We're going to talk about how to measure voltage, current, and resistance. We're going to start with a quick, quick review of electricity, voltage, current, and resistance. And then we'll talk about how to measure current, how to measure voltage, and how to measure resistance. So let's dive right in. So remember, we said that electricity is electrons in motion. And when many electrons move together, they behave like water. So we can think of electricity almost like water flowing down a stream. So imagine a river that comes to a dam. It might look something like this. The amount of water flowing through the river is like the current. The height of the water is like the voltage. And the dam is like a resistor that makes it hard for the water to flow. So now let's talk about measuring current. So imagine that you had this water flowing down the river and you wanted to measure how much water was flowing. One way that you could make this measurement is that you could insert a giant flow meter into the river, like this. The meter is inserted at one point in the river and all of the water has to flow through the meter in order to get measured. Well, current in a circuit is very much like water flowing down a river, and we measure current in a very similar way. We pick one spot on the circuit where we want to measure the current. Then we insert a meter into the circuit at that one place at a time. And all the electricity, all the current, has to flow through the meter in order to get measured. Now let's talk about measuring voltage. Voltage is like the height of water, and it's always measured as a difference between two places. So imagine that you had a circuit like this, with one power supply and two resistors in it. That would be very similar to water flowing like this. Now let's talk about measuring voltage in this circuit. Voltage is always measured as a difference between two points. And when we measure the voltage difference between two sides of a component, we call this the voltage across that component. So let's think about how we would do this. One voltage that we could measure in this circuit would be the voltage between one side of R1 and the other. That would be the voltage across R1 there. In our water example, that would be similar to this height that is shown on the picture there. The height difference between the water on one side of that uh, dam and the water on the other side. Now imagine we wanted to measure the voltage across R2. That would be like measuring the height difference between the water in the middle part of the um, of the system there and the water at the end. So those are two different voltages we could measure, but really we could pick any two points in the circuit that we want and measure the voltage between them. So we could also choose the to measure the voltage difference between one far side of the circuit and the other far side. And that would be similar to measuring the height between the water at one end of the system and the water at the other end. So we could measure voltage between any two points in the circuit that we like. So that's how we measure voltage. Now let's talk about measuring resistance. In order to measure the resistance of a component, the resistor must be completely disconnected from the circuit before resistance can be measured. And in order to make the resistance measurement, you connect two leads of a resistor to the two leads of a meter. So in practice, it would look something like this. You have a resistor and a meter, and you connect the two ends of the resistor to the two leads of the meter. So now we know a little bit about measuring voltage, current, and resistance. We know that current is measured at one place at a time in the circuit, and current has to flow through the meter in order to get measured. Voltage is a difference between two places in a circuit. You can pick any two places in the circuit that you like, and measure the voltage difference between those two places. And resistors must be removed from a circuit 
before resistance is measured. So that's a little bit about how we measure voltage, current, and resistance.